And today, we're going to do something extra special, and we are going to demonstrate the Eris Lux Legacy. For those of you who may not know it, Eris is formerly Electrolux, that old traditional vacuum that your mom was used to, that your mom and your grandmother had. Um, well, they're still around. It's, it's it's just that it's called it's called Eris now instead of Electrolux. Okay, so this is your Eris Lux Legacy. Um, it may look familiar to um, to y'all, but anyway, this is something special for me because I started my career selling Electroluxes door to door 40 years ago. So this is kind of neat, and I, I got to give you my disclaimer first. Okay, so the disclaimer when I do a demonstration is that we are not particularly trying to sell any particular product to you, the consumer. Um, we suggest that if you're interested in what we're showing you, first of all, whatever we're showing you, we believe in it. We believe in it, or we wouldn't be putting it on our vacuum repair shop channel or our website, okay? But if you're interested in what we're showing you, we always recommend that you go to your local vacuum store, or in this case, you go to your local heiress dealer, Okay, and a lot of them are franchises, and they're they're, they're um, or they're, they have a new program now where you can get them in some of the um, authorized vac shops that are authorized to carry errors. But again, we're not here to sell a product. But if you're seeing it here, it means we believe it. And I specific, I especially um, am quite fond of the Electrolux because I sold them door to door. So it's a great product. If you like what you see, go to you. You can't go wrong with anything we show you on VacuumRepairShop.com. Okay, um, so it's a great machine, um, high quality, high end vacuum, something that when you buy it, you buy once, buy right, it's gonna be around a long time, just like everything else we're showing you at vacuumrepairshop.com. But again, you should go to your local vac shop or your local heiress dealer to see if this is the right vacuum for you because, and you should actually, if you're gonna to go to vacuumrepairshop.com to get one of these, you wanna look for a premium verified member because that means they've been trained. Okay, anytime you look any of your vacuum needs, you want to look for the verified premium member at vacuumrepairshop.com because they have been tra they've been trained to take care of you as far as your vacuum cleaner needs. So let's plug this in and start using it and show you what we like about the Eris Lux Legacy. So yeah, they're still around. So there's still Eris, it's not called Electrolux anymore, it is called Eris, formerly Electrolux, and hence the name Eris Lux Legacy. Okay, so we're gonna plug, it's got a nice long cord. We're gonna plug this in over here. Right near some of our other favorite machines, the Sebo brand. The thing is with the canister vacuum nowadays, it's very difficult to find a high quality canister vacuum with an electric hose and a power head, that kind of thing. Um, you used to be able to find kind of an inexpensive one at Sears, at the Kenmore model. But if you want a high quality one, it's very difficult to find. Now, so that you got Eris, you've got Sebo, um, Linhouse makes a good one, but, um, and it's the more traditional style vacuum where if you're gonna use the vacuum to clean everything, everything in the home, if, you, if you're the type of person who likes to use the vacuum as a complete tool, the canister's kinda handy. So if you wanna go from one floor to the next, or you wanna go from uh, vacuuming the, 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 the carpet or floors to the above floor cleaning, um, and doing the dusting on your coffee tables, end tables, lampshades, curtains, that kind of thing. A canister, I think is, I always say if I had to pick one vacuum, and I don't, I have many vacuums at home, but if I had to pick just one to do everything in the house, it would be a canister vacuum. So, um, and this would, this would be up there as far as the quality of this machine. So anyway, on off switch right on top of the vacuum. Okay, and then you have a switch in the handle right here to turn your power head on. Okay, this machine does have a headlight, so you can take, I'm going to pick some of this dirt up, Mike. So you want to capture that. I'm going to take it over on that mat and show how it works, too. I will say this. I did notice that when I pulled this toward me, this is very, this does follow you very nice. It's got that caster wheel up front, so it is very easy to, to pull this around the room and it does follow you very easily. So it does swivel kind of, if you want to get a picture of that, but it does, it's got that caster wheel up front, so it does make it very easy to swivel. 
this has got a it's got a, a pretty good size power head on it too well that so that will allow you to get um to clean a larger area okay right here cleaner larger area in less time because it is a bigger power head than most okay and it's got the swivel okay so you can lay it down if you want to go underneath things here i'll, I'll go right into this chair here show you that it can go right underneath things. okay it's got nice soft rubber wheels on the bottom too so if you want to go over bare floors you can but this power head it's got the l shape so that's kind of neat that makes it easy to get around the legs of the furniture let me show you that so you know a lot of machines have a lot of nice features on them but you really don't know what those um what those feet what the benefits of those features are so that's my job is to kind of tell you what what good is that I, I for me to just tell you that it's got an l-shaped head doesn't really mean anything so what does that mean to you it means it's real easy to get around the legs of the furniture so with the power head it is nice to have something that's easy easy to maneuver um this machine doesn't have a height adjustment on it it actually just floats from one surface to the next which the theory is, the philosophy is that you know, there's no guesswork whether you have it the right height. It's always at the right height the way it, it the brush is just hitting the surface and the suction and sweeping that dirt into the suction. So um, so again, it's got a headlight on it. You can get right down there and see that headlight light. Okay, got the swivel, got the L shape. This machine's got a circuit breaker in it too, which is very nice. So when you do, if you do go onto the bed, and you pick up a sock or a shoelace or something, if you pick up something you shouldn't, I should, I should explain this first, Mike, okay? Um, I should explain to everybody that there's really four or five things you want to look for. And when you're looking at a vacuum, this is how you want to look, for, look at a vacuum. What's important in a vacuum is, number one, how well is it clean, okay? This is a deep cleaner, okay? And again, everything we show you on vacuumrepairshop.com is going to clean well. But the other things you want to look at is not only how well is it clean, but how easy is it to use? How long is it going to last? And what's the filtration like? So if you're seeing it here on vacuumrepairshop.com, we believe it fills all those needs for a customer. Cleans better, lasts longer, easier to use, better filtration. And then of course, the other thing is the where you're going to get it. And again, we've been over that. You really shouldn't buy a vacuum online. You shouldn't buy it on Amazon. You should go to your local vac shop, or in this case, your local Eris, Eris authorized dealer to look at something like this. But the other thing you want to look at is the value. So this is kind of a, a little bit of a more expensive vacuum, but most people who have something like this, they have it forever. So they have them for 20, 25 years. I started in this business selling these vacuums door to door 40 years ago, and I have customers that still have the vacuum I sold. I have family members that still have the vacuum I sold them 40 years ago. So I kind of believe in these machines. The machine's got a circuit breaker, so if you, you pick up something you shouldn't, machine the, the power head will shut off okay and all you got to do is pull whatever's in there out and if you trip that breaker here you just hit this button right here and that'll turn the that'll turn the power head back on okay um, you got some attachments on board well, I should spend another second on the, on the power head too Let's look at that brush. You've got a nice, nice stiff bristle brush. Okay, nice soft rubber wheel, so it's not going to mark anything up. And it's got what they call a chevron shaped brush, so it brings the dirt toward. You see how it's like a V-shaped pattern, so it brings the dirt toward the center where, where the suction is. Okay, um, you do have some attachments on board. Um, you have a dust brush. This is kind of unique to Electrolux. You probably all remember this from mom's old Electrolux or grandma's old Electrolux. It's, it's a nice soft horsehair brush, so it's not going to scratch anything. But if you want to turn that around, it's a two-in-one tool. It's actually an upholstery tool too. So if you want to do, the, it'll contour to fit the arms and legs of the furniture. So if you're vacuuming long, you want to do, you want to dust coffee table and table. You can do that. If you want to dust, if you want to vacuum the furniture, you can go ahead and you've got like an upholstery tool right there, so you can vacuum the furniture up. Oh, that's, that's stuck on there. Okay. Um, machine comes with this adapter too. So some of the some of the actual tools are kind of proprietary to Electrolux to fit here. 
but you do get an adapter. So if, if you do want to buy some aftermarket attachments, if there's a particular dust brush or crevice tool or, or something that you, um, you'd rather use with this machine, you can add different accessories to this. So you do have an adapter there. So your local vac shop can sell you like additional crevice tools or anything else. It doesn't have to be necessarily that electrolytes attachment. So, so you get the adapter, you get the dust brush, um, this right here, the crevice tool locks right in place. So all your basic attachments are right on board. You also get um, a nice spare floor tool, which can go around the end here. So we know that most homes today are, they're not all wall to wall like they used to be. They have a lot of area rugs or maybe the bedrooms are, are wall to wall. And you might wanna, you can use the, you can use the power nozzle on the bare floors. It's not gonna hurt anything, but this is probably gonna do a little better job getting into, let's, let's say you have a recessed grout line or something like that. You wanna get the dirt out of the grout line. You can get it with this. Or maybe you have an old hardwood floor that's got some cracks in it. You can get it out with that. Okay, let's use it over here. Mike. I don't know if you saw that close up to getting this stuff, did you? Yeah. Now I want to show you one of my favorite tools from the light floats. They have this, this, this little handheld called a sidekick. And it's a pretty powerful unit. We're taking care of uh, pet hair. Um, carpeted stairs. Uh, this unit right here, this, this is called the Sidekick. Actually, this is called the Sidekick 2. Um, but this is, a, this is a favorite of a lot of people. Anybody who knows Electrolux, um, they've created some pretty cool things. This is, this is no exception. This is a, if you want to deep clean the furniture or deep clean the stairs, this is a great tool to do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get some more of that hair. I'm going to put it on that furniture. All right. So that should be a pretty good test, right? Most vacuums they would have a difficult time picking that, picking that up. It's a breeze with this attachment. That's, that's pretty impressive, don't you think? Yeah. So if, again, if you've got, wow. and you can turn that hose this way, so if you want to go up the back of the tent. Yeah. So again, if you're looking for an easier way, easy way to do the, 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 the uh, upholstery, um, if you're looking for an easy way to do the carpeted stairs, this is worth its weight in gold right here, this particular uh, unit right here. It's its own separate motor, and you can deep clean the stairs, deep clean the furniture. If you have like pets, like I have a golden retriever at home, this comes in real handy for the um, for the stairs, and for the stairs, and for the and for the furniture. As try as we might. The dog, dog hair, it, it, we're always hunting dog hair in our house. This will help you fight, okay? It's a great little tool, and it's a deep cleaner. You might notice, real, I'm, just, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but you might notice that I'm standing in front of um, some other Aeris products. This is the Aeris um, Platinum, Guardian Platinum. So they have three canister machines, three good, solid machines, but more important than that, I'm standing, I don't, they were kind of a, in, ahead of the wave when it comes to most back shops nowadays, don't just cater to the surface dirt. We're actually more concerned with indoor air quality. You know, both equally the same. You need a good vacuum to take care of the sand, the grit, the hair, that kind of thing. But even though you get that, there's still airborne dirt. And so Aeris was kind of ahead of the wave um, when they came out with this Beyond, air, beyond um, Guardian Air, air purifier. And they've got this little angel up here and they've got this pure and clean. I don't want to get away from the demonstration of the Lux Legacy, but the, the company has changed. They changed their name, but they have actually changed for the better. So um, a good <coughs> idea to have both a good vacuum that takes care of the sand, the grit, the hair, but also, especially nowadays in 2022, we are concerned about indoor air quality and you're not gonna get any better equipment than you are with the air. So just a, a quick commercial break. 
for the power of these um, air purifiers by Aris. You might want to stop at your local back shop and get one of these reports on indoor air. It's only available at your local back shop, vacuumrepairshop.com, about indoor air quality. So anyway, and a big part of indoor air quality is taking care of the surface dirt because if you can't get it out of the carpet, you can't get it out of the sofa, you can't get it out of the, the furniture, it's still going to be knocked out. It's going to become airborne dirt. You're going to walk and you're going to knock it back into the air. So anyway, another unique feature of this machine. Oh, this machine, by the way, comes with a 10-year motor warranty and five-year part. So again, old reliable, just like your mother's, just like your grandmother's. This machine is designed to last a long time. Um, it's got a couple unique features that are pretty cool with this machine. So if you, if you're, you cannot use this machine without a bag. So if you're vacuuming along and you fill the bag and you throw it away and you don't have another bag and you put it back in the closet like that, the next time somebody comes to use this machine, they're going to notice it won't turn on. Okay, so try as I might, it, the machine will not go on. And it's got a little indicator right here that will tell you there's no bag in it. So you know that's the reason why. Now in our particular vacuum store, we give people free tune-ups on their vacuum. And you'd have, to, you'd have to check with your local vacuum shop to see if they're willing to do that. But if you did vacuum without a bag, we would clean it up for you. Once a year, we come in, we, we, you can bring it in, we can clean it up for you. Um, but you'd have a terrible mess on your hand here because if you could vacuum without the bag, you'd be just, that dirt would be going right into the bag compartment, right into the motor. So it's a very easy bag change too. Most people know this bag and you can get it at local vac shops or you can get it at the air dealer. Um, very easy to come by, very easy to change. Uses what they call cyclonic action when you fill that bag. So actually, you can actually, People may look at that bag and think it looks like a small bag. You can actually fit a lot of dirt in this bag. It looks like a garbage compactor. The way the, the dirt comes in, it kind of spins around to the outside walls, always leaving a little channel for more dirt in the bag. So these do hold a lot of dirt. Probably more than you're going to want. You're probably going to want, and, and, but it also has an indicator that tells you when the bag is full. This machine actually shuts off when the bag's full. So you don't have to worry about hurting, damaging the motor. You don't have to worry about... Um, Overfilling it, if it's if it's losing airflow, the machine will shut off. Let's go through this right here. I'll just tell you what these what these mean on the top. Okay, so this this dot this right here tells you there's no bag. Check the bag. So if it doesn't run for some reason, that'll go on. You can see this this lights on right now. That might tell you that it's got power. So if you went to turn the machine on and for some reason it didn't you didn't start, you don't have to go look at the wall to see if it start see if it's plugged in. It tells you it's plugged in. This means the bag's full. Okay, and then this right here means it's, it's, it's hot for some reason. Okay, the motor's getting hot and you should bring it to, your, to the shop to see what's going on with it. So again, designed to last a long time. Buy once, buy right, have it forever. Um, <clears throat> there's, just, there's also a dial on this which can be kind of confusing to people. This machine has that automatic feature. So with, without going into too much detail, what the automatic feature is, the machine shuts off when the bag's full. They don't, you don't want to overload the bag. You don't want to overheat the, the machine, right? And so that works on airflow. When the, so when the pores of the bag get full or if there's anything clogging it, any, any, uh, restricting the airflow, it'll shut off and the light will go on until it's hot or the light will go on until you, the bag's full or the machine's getting hot for some reason. Now this dial has nothing to do with the suction power. I'm going to try to clear up the confusion for people because some people think they turn it up all the way and you're going to turn up the power. That's really not what's going on. You can turn this dial all the way, okay? And all it does is advance that shutoff mechanism. So it will start to shut off when the bag is not really full, okay? So let's say you're vacuuming stuff, you don't want to keep stuff, jamming stuff into a bag, and you don't mind going through more bags, you might want to turn it up so that when it gets to a certain point, you throw it out and put another bag in. Now, if you turn it the other way, it will disengage the automatic feature, okay? So again, I don't, don't need to go into too much detail about it. Um, I don't know how important it is to most people. It's a, it's a, it's a feature and a benefit they've had on there for a really long time, and they leave it on there. But again, the best thing to do. So again, why would you turn it down? Well, let's say um, maybe I, maybe I got that backwards. If you turn it up all the way, it will advance it. If you turn it down all the way, it will turn it off. So which means you can continue to run this. And why would you why would you do that? Well, let's say you had your last bag, okay, and it was getting annoying that the vacuum kept turning off. So you can at least use it a little bit. Even may not have the suction it did, but you can turn it down a little bit so that you can continue to use the vacuum, even though it's not picking up like it should. But word to the wise, put it right in the middle, okay? 
So uh, there's also another filter on the back of the machine. So we showed you the bag in the front, but there's also a filter on the back of the machine. Underneath the attachments. So we're all concerned about indoor air quality nowadays. So Aeris is no exception. Again, that's why we're standing in front of the Aeris air purifiers. And the last thing you want to do with any vacuum is pick up the dirt in one end and then throw it out the back end. And that's what you're doing with a lot of these. No knock on any other vacuum. Everybody's got their own philosophy, but your Dysons, your Sharks, that kind of thing, you're, you're, putting, you're pulling air, air and dirt in and you're letting air and dirt out. And it, the filters have to be replaced more often on those machines and they're not keeping the air as clean as it could be. And the whole objective here with, with a good quality vacuum, with any of the vacuums you find in your vacuum repair shop is to keep the air clean as well as pick up the dirt. So you do have the, the filter bag up front, which is like a four ply bag, okay? You've got this filter in the back and I'm just noticing you got the other filter right here too. So um, pretty good filtration. If you do need to have the actual HEPA filtration, there is the platinum, so you can move up to that HEPA filter. That's one of the differences in the machine. But for the most part, with this or the other Aris, nobody's ever going to walk in your house and say, hmm, you don't have a HEPA filter in your, bag, in your machine. Huh? That's not going to happen. So either of them are, are good enough filtration that you're, you're going to, you add that to this, and now you got a clean home. So that's the Aris. Let me just show you everything that comes with it. We'll put it all together in a nice little package here. Crevice tool, dust brush, adapter, Power head, two wands, sidekick, bare floor tool, um, retractable cord. We didn't mention that, but all the all the Aeris Electroluxes have the retractable cord, which is which is nice. Each bag, each each vacuum is equipped with a couple of bags too. To get you started, I bet you if you went to the local bag shop or your local Aeris dealer, they'd probably give you a good deal on some bags too. And a lot of them will give you a trade-in as well. But I would say quality-wise, you're not going to get much better. Again, you know, there's only a few canisters at VacuumRepairShop.com that we really believe in. This is no exception. This is a high-quality machine that you are going to have for 20, 15, 20 years, 25 years if you take care of it. Um, and again, most back shops would probably give you some sort of tune-up plan with this because it is a higher quality, better machine. And it's designed to last. Buy once, buy right, and be done with the headaches. That's it. So that's an Aris Lux Legacy.